Hey there, it's Dave, and I'm called the RV Dummy by a lot of people. Sometimes I just go by Dave. Whatever you want to call me is totally fine. I'm back with you today as kind of a follow-up from the video I did yesterday because I need to share something with you. I'm I'm really um, yeah, I'm having a blast as as my wife Yoko and I live are living in our RV. Not full time. We're not full timers in the RV, but we're traveling, doing a tremendous amount of traveling. We just got back home from a close to a five week trip, five weeks on the road. And I'm starting to think that um, the reason I'm doing this is not necessarily or not primarily about the RV at all. I mean, of course, I have a lot of fun. I'm putting, you know, I put the sound system in and, and we're making upgrades and decorating and, and doing great things and camping. That's that's beautiful. Trust me. And and I, I will continue talking about that and helping you with your quest to if you have an R V now or if you're thinking about getting one. I, I want to continue that. But but I want to go a little bit deeper in today's video and I'm not going to keep you real long. I'm not going to make this long, but I think um the main reason I may be doing this you know, having bought the RV, traveling in it, um, is it could be a metaphor for my life. And just to share some things with you that maybe I've never even shared before, but I, I think I just want to prove to maybe prove to myself and prove to other people, people that follow me and people that are my friends and people that um, enjoy watching me in these videos. I want to prove to you and to me primarily that, um, we really don't need a lot of things in our lives. We don't need we don't need a big house. Now, uh, I will share this with you. I have been successful in my life, and I, in my previous marriage, in my 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 original marriage, um, I was married to a woman for twenty three years. And people looking from the outside would have thought that everything was perfect because we lived in the perfect large house. We have two beautiful kids who went to private schools and we drove expensive foreign cars and um, the list goes on and, and hung out with the right people. The list goes on and on and on. But um, I'm here to say that something in that life of mine, something something didn't feel right. And, you know, I had money and I had things and I had all, all, everything that looked good, but something just wasn't right. And things like that, they just, you can't go on forever. You can't go on forever in a life that in your heart, you know, is not right. So um, ultimately I, um, you know, the, the marriage did not last. I met the most wonderful woman in the world who I'm married to right now. You, you have met her. She's been in a lot of my videos. She's not here with me next to me right this second. Um, her name is Yoko as, as, as you probably know, but, um, Yoko and I want to show ourselves and prove to ourselves that we don't we don't need a lot of things. And hence, that's maybe one of the reasons I bought this Pleasure Wave van and we're traveling around in basically, um, basically, uh, I'm just estimating this about 150 square foot home and coming from the McMansions that I used to live in and, and all the beautiful decorations and expensive furniture and appointed beautifully coming from that and not being happy, not be not feeling happy within. I'll tell you that the, the travel that we just finished up five weeks on the road, 150 square feet. Um, oftentimes Yoko and I had to dance around each other because there's almost no room in the van. But we we got it down to a science. I mean, I know that if she's in a certain area and I want to get by her, I just there's a certain way I get by her. And if she's sitting somewhere and if I need to sit somewhere, we, we both know each other's movements before we even do them or as we're doing we, we know exactly what to do. It kind of it kind of comes to you. And I'm here to say that I am happier Living in a 150 square foot home, which is my van, happier living in that van than I had ever been living in larger, expensive homes 
with expensive vehicles sitting out front. So this, I don't know if I want to call it like, like a test or proof or something. It's, yeah, I'm out there. I'm out there to not only to prove it to myself and, and, and by the way, the test has come true. I mean, there, the, the, the five weeks that we just spent on the road driving from the East Coast uh, along along through the Midwest into the beautiful, beautiful mountains of, of Colorado and Utah and Idaho and um, South Dakota, uh, Wyoming. I mean, the beauty, the beauty that was there so far eclipses anything anything that you could like buy and spend your money on and i mean i'm all about being comfortable and, but but living in a mcmansion highly decorated does that make you comfortable does that make you happy spending all the money on things that people are going to look at you and say wow he must he must be really successful his look what they do look what look at the vacations their family takes i mean that means nothing. It means nothing. And I, I'm um, able to tell you this because I've been through that. I've been through living a life that was not me. And I can, I can absolutely with 100% certainty say that I, I could be happy for the rest of my life living in our, is that it right back there? Living in our that's it. Let me move my hand the right way. Living in our van. I could be happy for the rest of my life because I don't need a lot of stuff. I just don't. I don't need a lot of money. I don't need a lot of stuff. It's all about, first of all, who you're with, who you're spending time with, and your life experiences. It's basically free to hike a mountain. It doesn't cost any money. You don't need expensive clothes to hike a mountain. You throw on a pair of pants or shorts or and you put some shoes on that are durable enough to hike up a trail and, and that's and that's all you need. Yeah, you need water and you need food, but you need that anyway. This lifestyle, this journey in the RV is much deeper than how to fix a generator or how to put a rack on, or how to hook up a Bluetooth or a GoPro camera to the, it's, it's much deeper. It's much deeper. It's exploring the world on my terms, on my terms, sharing my life with who I want to be with and who's on the same page as I am and who enjoys this journey with me. That's what life is about, and I've never been happier. Do I go through days that I'm not 100%? Of course I do. Everybody does. And, I can, I, and I'm, I'm going to be very transparent. I'm going to talk to you about anything, and a lot of it will be done right from our van. I'll be talking. I'll be in the RV. Maybe we'll be cooking dinner. Maybe we'll be cleaning something. Maybe fixing something. Maybe cleaning our cat's kitty litter box. We'll be in the RV, and I'll be sharing, sharing my life and sharing with you how you – can make your life the best life possible. Because I'll tell you one thing, if I would have continued my life the way it was going back in the day, the way I used to live it, I'm not so sure I'd be alive or healthy or whatever, fill in the blank. And there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee how long we will live, how long we will be healthy. I'm 63 now. I feel fantastic. I feel great. I feel better now at 63 than I did when I was 33 because when I was at, when I was 33 and I was 43, I was a guy who was in kind of caught in the wrong lifestyle for me, caught up in the wrong life. And I think it would have killed me. But now I think I look around, I enjoy the beauty. I'm mindful of everything and I appreciate every moment, whether we're in the RV traveling or whether 
we're taking a little break from the RV, break from the road, and I'm regrouping. And right now I'm getting a few things fixed in the RV. It needs, it needs a few little minor things. That's okay. That's what it's all about. But I'll be back on the road with Yoko soon with our cat. I've got a lot more stories to share with you. But again, like I said, it goes deeper. It goes a lot deeper than just that hunk of metal with tires on the road. It goes a lot deeper. So follow along with me, please. please. And I will ask you one favor. And by the way, thanks so much for such nice, incredible comments from yesterday's video. I'll ask you a favor because I, I really do. I do want to grow this channel and I do want to share my message. And I've got a, a tremendous message that's going to be coming up soon. Um, so if there's anybody you have in your family or friends or anybody that's like minded, that wants to grow, that wants to live your best life possible, please. <clears throat> I choked on something. <laughs> I don't know what. It's almost like I breathed something in and choked on it. Please share my channel. Please share what I'm doing here. Oh, yeah, it'll be about RV. It'll be about our life on the road, of course. Because we've got a lot more. Where this past trip came, we've got a lot more. I feel like it's still in my throat, but I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to edit this. <coughs> Some people on YouTube, they do this like tremendous professional cutting and editing and b-roll and i'm not going to do that right now maybe later i don't know but it's just me talking to you with my rv sirenie right there we're gonna we're gonna learn a lot together i've got a lot to share with you so again please feel free comment let me know what you think about the direction this is me it's totally me it's not staged if we met for coffee or dinner or tea or anything you'd be seeing the exact person that you're seeing in the video. Nothing's faked. It's from my heart. So please share. Please share. Let's build this together. Because I got a lot more to share with you. I'm Dave. See you soon. <laughs>